Welcome to another video by Geek97. In this video, we will learn about constant in JavaScript. And also in the latter part of the video, we will see that how we can make a property of an object as a read-only or constant. So to start with, you can create a constant in JavaScript using the const keyword. So here we say const foo equal to 9 and we can go ahead and print that value of foo and here you have foo as a constant. If you go and try to modify that value, JavaScript should complain about that. And here you see that JavaScript complains that assignment to constant variable. So in this is the way you create a constant in JavaScript using the const keyword. Keep in mind that a scoping of const keyword is a block level scoping. It has exact the same scoping like the latest statement. To understand that, here I'll go and create another function called abc. And let us say that inside this function, we go ahead and redeclare this const foo. And we give that value 18. And then display console.log foo. Now what would happen that now in our program we have two constant variable foo one which is in the global scope which value is 9 and then another foo which has the scope only inside this function abc and this code should work perfectly fine. So here you see that uh, you have 9 get printed and again 9 got printed and let us go and call this function abc and you see that 18 is being printed here. So again keep in mind that uh, const has a scope of, uh, has block level scoping. So it, it, it's, it's a scoping is exactly like the latest statement. So this is the way uh, you create a constant in JavaScript. However, it becomes tricky when you have to create a read-only or constant, uh, a property of an object. So let us say we have an object called dog and it has a name property called Tommy. So you saw that uh, we cannot put here var const or var or anything because that is not allowed. Now by default what happens that JavaScript does allow you to uh, change the value of name property. Here we say console.log name and you get, uh, you get uh, that, uh, let me see what mistake I have done, console.log and that is dog.name. So here you get that Tommy printed. Now here you can again go and reassign this to some other value, we'll just call it let us say Tommy. And then if you print this value, JavaScript does not complain about it. And here you see that you get scummy. Now to make this name property as read only or as a constant in some way, you have something called object def dot defined property. You need to work with the object property descriptor. And so to do that, here we'll go and say that hey, object dot define property and then pass the object name which is dog and then pass the property name you wish to work with here we want to work with name property and then it takes a uh, object where you have four uh, values uh, they are writable configurable enumerable and value here we need to work with the writable so we'll say that hey writable and make this to false so when you make a writable to false in that way now this name property has become only uh, read only uh, property so now what would happen since write table has been set to false, JavaScript is going to ignore line number 11 and you should get Tommy for both line number 7 and line number 12. And here you see that Tommy and Tommy you are getting. So this name has become a read only property. If you wish to throw error, you need to run this uh, JavaScript inside the strict mode. So we'll go here and say, hey, run this in the strict mode and now you see that JavaScript complains here that he cannot assign to read only property name of object object. So these are the two ways you can uh, create a constant or read only in JavaScript. If it is a normal variable, use the keyword const. Uh, keep in mind that const has a block level scoping. Uh, 
it means uh, you can have uh, if you have a variable inside a if a statement and there is a const variable outside the if a statement these two are two different variables uh, and then you can use object dot uh, define property uh, to uh, define the property of an object uh, objects property to make it read only as we have done it here so I hope uh, you find this video useful. They may ask you this in interview and now you know that either using const keyword or by using object or defined property and setting the right table to false, uh, you can uh, make a property read only or constant. Thank you so much for watching it.